And guys, you shouldn't hear as much background noise now. I've tried to fix it, and that should be better. Um, it seems like uh, Norgrim will see these two gateways go down, and probably wants to try and stick around to see if a fourth does go down. It looks like Norgrim will be going for a three-gate possible expand, and as you said, yes, that probe is chilling under there, doesn't want to get sunburnt and hiding under that nice shady tree. Abel will come in later, but, I mean, that's extremely hard to see, even if you do scout a oh, tiny oh, blue yeah. dot. I mean, you got to go right up in there and, uh, and, oh, what is this? What is it? We're going to have, we're going to have some, uh, some <coughs> warp gate action going down right now, Fire Silver, as that pylon was placed down in the back of Nogrim's base. <laughs> is, if this, dude, I'll say this, if, uh, Nomi is able to take down Nogrim, that's going to be quite the upset, in my opinion. I, I like the way he used the probe, he just plants the pylon, yeah. now I'm going back to the tree. That's right. Chilling. I'm chilling here. You guys, you guys go and attack. It's fine. I'm, I'm chilling at the tree. <laughs> and he is warping in two stalkers <laughs> and a zealot. And Rotoron just completing. So some Jedi mind tricks going on here. But only one stalker was made. So and that zealot is going to hold the choke. So he's going to be thinking, oh, he's just doing a poke. But little does he know, this little probe at the back, the tree hugger, is going to be patting down these evil pylons. And a sentry now on the field. So he isn't actually sure what's going on, but Norgrim's Overlord is heading towards it, dangerously close to seeing it, and oh my god, he's going to see five dots on his minimap. Oh, there they are. Crazy. And he, just as Nomi moves out, he's going to take down that Overlord, and he's not... Oh my, did he? Yes, he supply blocked. He indeed supply blocked Nogrim. So Nogrim's got a little bit of a little bit of a scuttle here. It's a cake, Dobbs. Yeah? He's killing drones. He's freeing up supply. That is true. And you know what? It's going to take forever for these spine crawlers to reposition themselves. By the time they're down, 8,000 more stalkers can warp in. And that's exactly <laughs> what it looks like is going on. These roaches are going to have to deal with this. And it's going to be quite hard to deal with as there is a stalker coming in from the front as well. And there's more damage being dealt. And they're going to try to take out the... Are they going to take out the queen? Yes, the queen will go down. And uh, and he's gonna have to move off a little bit and try to fight, uh, try to kite some of these roaches. Yep, definitely. Very nice timing of uh, making those stalkers trying to pick off that spine crawler, but these roaches uh, being very, very annoying and spine crawlers hurt so badly. Um, so he might actually be able to snipe that down, but more roaches are coming out. A total of six roaches and two spine crawlers now. It looks like Norgrim is safe. Oh, but more but, yeah, I was just the about pack. to say, dude, it doesn't matter because the pylons there, more warp ins can occur. And because the more warp ins, it looks like he's going to attack in the front as well. And more warp ins will continue to occur and continue to go down. Nogrim still protecting himself, but losing quite a bit. Let's take a look at that lost tab. Actually, you know what? To be honest, uh, Nogrim's a lot of, lost a lot of units, but he has not lost as much uh, as much m money or m as much money or I mean sorry minerals as Nomi has Nomi has lost quite a bit it looks like 400 more minerals than his opponent Nogrim even on that even on that glorious attack and I say glorious because to be honest it was glorious wouldn't you say fire silver yep very very sneaky and uh, punishes Nogrim for not scouting his base I mean, if we look at the uh, work accounts, 20 drones to 23 probes, yep. not a position you want to be in. So it seems that, you know, Nomi was cutting probes slightly there to get those out. And his Oddish should stop at 23. Maybe he was thinking of going for a 4-gate, but it seems it'll be way too obvious. He does have all this Chrono Boost saved up, and he's going 3-gate Twilight. So do you think we can see a Dark Shrine go down? Oh, wow, there it and is. Th yeah, that's at right. The there it is. Way to go. It happens all the time. When you say something as a caster, they usually, you know, most of the time you'll see it happen right there, right then and there as you say it. Like, oh, they should get this. Oh, wait, there it is. They're making me a liar. Speaking of that, after this queen, we should probably see that layer tech go down by Nagrim. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll find out because he is playing and I am not the one telling him what to do. So uh, with all that being said, we do see more warp ins occurring as well as a probe following these units. And it looks like uh, we could have a little bit of a more push coming from Nomi. Yep, definitely. As he does start to push out again, uh, as you said, with a probe. So going to bounce off this zone. I'll watch tower checks, nothing there, and move up once again. And uh, man, three spine crawlers here. One of them still bleeding from earlier, but he does have two queens here. And honestly, nothing annoys me more as a Protoss player 
than having spine crawlers being transfused. That literally boils my blood because <laughs> they never die. <laughs> well, hey, guess what? It just got transfused once again. There's actually a roach sitting here with six life able to stay alive and this force just keeps on amassing as there is a forward pylon placed down on this Zelnaga watchtower meaning that the, these units from Nomi will be able to push in. It looks like he's just going all in on this one base play. He's not expanding, not planning to expand. Oh, uh oh, DTs are out. No spore crawlers down. Evo Chamber just got placed down. These Dark Templars moving right past the Queens. Layers halfway done. Big engagement in the front of the natural expansion. The tension is mounting. We're all on the edge of our seats. What's going to happen here? Will Nomi be able to survive? No, he is losing all of those units. But look at this crap. The Dark Templars in the middle of Nagrim's base here. And they are doing some heavy damage as the Evo Chamber just finishes up. And a Spore Crawler gets placed down. And I'll tell you, look at, you know, I'm actually quite amazed to see there are still a few units by Nomi in the base in front of that natural expansion. And these Dark Templars, they're going to do it, dude. They're going to take down the lair and boom goes the lair oh, I can't believe it happened I can't believe that just happened. That was awesome. Great pickoff. Great play from Nomi. This is insane. These roaches sent back to their base with their tail between their legs. Fire silver. What the hell are we watching? This is nuts. <laughs> it was. I wondered why he wasn't cancelling the lair and I was like, come on, Norgrim, get yourself an overseer. Get get the overseer and then as soon as the hatchery falls, like the the second the layer falls, an overseer gets more. I don't even know how he did it without having a layer. He just did. So Well he he started <laughs> it right that. before the lair got uh, got taken out, man. So he had a little bit of time to wait and those Dark mm -hmm. Templars do get taken out, but that was such a significant loss, dude. Great. It was, man. It was very, very... Um, I mean, he lost all his army, but it was enough to distract him long enough to just snipe out this. Um, there's this one Dark Templar just chilling there in the edge of the base, but losing a layer, man, and it's back to one base for Norgrim, and he's not even oversaturated. He's at 17 drones as he lost so many. Yeah. So, you know, no Nomi's just like, well, I can get an expansion now with a lot of sentries, and mobile detection, kind of hard for Zerg. So, with cannons going down now, two cannons of the natural, Nomi's going to macro up probably off two bases um, if Norgrim does no sort of attack. And maybe we'll see a six-gate timing push again. Man, maybe, maybe. I'll tell you, any type of push has been great to see coming down from, uh, you know, from our Protoss player, Nomi. He is really, pro he's really starting to prove himself in his PvZ matchup as we've got a Dark Templar. Let me go ahead and do the Whisper thing as this Dark Templar goes up to that Zelnaga Watchtower. It's going to keep an eye out. It's going to see these Changelings going down. And uh, will it now, the Changelings do not morph because they do not see the Dark Templar, of course. So uh, that Dark Templar actually just hanging on that Zelnaga Watchtower. We can go back to normal volume. Level 1 attack upgrade on the way down right now from the Forge for Nomi. So Nomi will start to uh, start to advance his military here. Nagrim going to take out, going to uh, move his roaches around, not really taking out those rocks on that expansion. Figured he may do that because it would be a little bit of a safer expansion if he does. Yeah, definitely. Four creep tumors going down from that queen now. Going to spread that creep across the map and to a third. But Norgrim does have his second base back up at the same time. Nomi has his second base up in his mining. Uh, does have two assimilators there, so it can be mining a lot of gas. And uh, it seems like three, no, three zealots and one Dark Templar are being warped in at the front. But where's Norgrim's army? Uh, I mean, Nomi's army it's is taking the third expansion. Exactly right. Now that third expansion does have the rocks there, and it is easy to take out. Um, those rocks and get to your third base. Now, that is a way safer expansion than say uh, than say going down to this one or going all the way across the map to uh, one of the other ones. Going across the map is uh, is all right in certain occasions, but I'd say against Nagrim and how he usually keeps his map coverage, going for this third closest is probably the best choice. Yep, definitely would have to agree with you there. But three more Dark Templar being walked in, so he's going very, very heavy on these Dark Templars. And one of them is moving across the map. Seems like he's going to go to the third. Where's the drone? Oh, God, God are you kidding me? This is the worst <laughs> timing right here for Nagrim. The best timing for Nomi. I can't believe it. That drone is on the way, and it's going to get swiped out. And uh, <laughs> there it goes, cut in half. Nice. So, like... 
It's it's kind of as bad timing as if you just bought a gun and then there was a robbery at the you know grocery store. Yeah, as or you just bought a gun hour, and so. then the uh, and then arms became illegal where you live and then you get arrested <laughs> for it. Yeah, because that's a little uh, bit more hardcore than that. Anyways, we see Nagrim moving out with these roaches and lings, and is there an overseer accompanying them? It does not look like it. And that Dark Templar just doing a little bit of scouting, making sure to keep an eye. And are you, are you kidding? Is this... Okay, the Dark Templar may not go and scout this. A ninja expansion is going on over here in the three or in the nine o'clock position of the map by Nagrim, and Nagrim now laying down some creep in the uh, in the natural or in the third ex base of uh, of Nomi. So N Nagrim actually moving some Zerglings forward as well as getting some Mutalists out. Let's go and talk about what they're building and what they got in their base and the upgrades we got going on here. No ground upgrades going down for Nagrim. Nagrim is going for the Flyer attack level one upgrades. And as well as getting some more Mutalists out. F level 2 attack upgrades is going down right now for Nomi. He is forming a couple of Dark Templars, or sorry, a couple of Archons. I almost said Dark Archons, then I said Templars. All this madness. But we've got a couple of Archons here morphing and uh, going out, and they're going to see these Zerglings and decimate all those Zerglings. They have no chance. And here come the Mutas to try to do some harassment. It definitely is going to be nothing there. There's two hallucinated phoenixes going out, but all of those things, uh, all of the probes are dying as more stalkers are walked in. But, you know, without blink, it's going to be hard to chase those mulelisks. And uh, Norgrim's, oh my god, yep. Norgrim's third base is nearly Holy dead. Holy crap, Eight he saves it at 85. That is, uh, that is an astounding save there. Now keep in mind, he does have this 9 o'clock expansion, getting the queen out on it now, but look at this freaking force that's going across the field. A bunch of Dark Templars. Let's just take a look at that unit composition there. Three Dark Templars, two Archons, five Stalkers, four Sentries, and yes, 15 Zealots. Now these uh, Hallucinated Phoenix offering plenty of vision here as this force comes in from no me and Nomi's gonna go ahead and one shot take out this base because it is only at 90 health. Boom goes the expansion and here come the Mutas right into the back of Nomi's base. This is getting really exciting here as we see Nomi continuing to take out more and more of Nagrim. Nagrim hanging on by some tooth and nail action as he is uh, basically put together with some uh, with some Elmer's glue and some duct tape here, Fire Silver, with these roaches not being <laughs> able to do as much damage as they should. Yeah, definitely these charged zolts are ripping apart these zealots, especially because the roaches have no upgrades and there are two attack upgrades now. Uh, these mutalists are going to come over, try a magic box, but magic box does not work against Archons. Didn't he get the memo? I don't and think he these, did, uh, man. <laughs> Could we see the GG from... here? Is Deal. is no me going to move on against Nagrim? Because the winner of this game, dude, is going to be the winner of this uh, of this bout, and that means that he's going to push forward. This is uh, this is yeah, insane. Those Archons do massive damage, 43 damage to biological units such as Roaches. I think every single Zerg unit is actually biological, so just bonus versus everything. Loads of Stalkers coming in, 8 more Stalkers. One of the Archons does go down, but there's still 2 more Archons on the field, very low on shield though, and I think this is GG. You know, there's really, a I I'd say there's absolutely nothing that Nogrim can do. Yeah, great. You have He's got a base on the 9 o'clock, but you know what? That base is going to be meaningless without the ability to produce any any type of unit. So we very well should be seeing the GG here in just a few minutes, or just a few seconds anyway. <laughs> a changeling field going down. Oh, yeah. Those changelings are going to own up that Archon, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. OP changelings. They only cost energy, but I, I'd say this is over for Nagrim. He gave it a great game, and I'll tell you, no me just out trumped him in the trickery department, in the in the the warfare, the fit, you know, the mental warfare of constant aggression and placing those pylons in the back. And look at that, he's even force feeling to kill the majority of the drones there, and he's going to take <laughs> out this spire and take out this hatchery as well. I'd say there's really no hope. Great, great games by both of these players. This has been such an epic set of uh, set of games, Fire Silver. I've been hella glad to uh, cast them, and we will probably be uh, yep. moving into the next sure. one following No Me because I think No Me is going to take it right here on this three base yep. push.